NCAA basketball totals for Monday, December 12th. Uh, we got three games on the card today. Not a big day of basketball. A couple good games going on in uh, Madison. Well, one, one good game going on in Madison Square Garden. Uh, we're going to take a look again at the final scores of these games. That's called the total and see if we can beat the odds makers going over or under the line. Don't forget you got uh, SBR for all the odds and all the numbers and uh, all the sports books, sports book reviews, things like that. All there at SBR, and I hope you're enjoying this segment as well. We're kind of trudging along these last few days in NCAA Hoops, NBA as well. Uh, we do have a segment in the NBA as to, you know, go uh, go ahead and mention that uh, to you guys. So let's go ahead and let's jump right in with some games. we got three again on the card. We're going to first look at uh, Penn versus UCF. Oddsmakers have it at 128 and a half. I looked at this one for a while because it's a really weird matchup. You got a, a UCF team that plays some really, really solid defense. They're at home against Penn, who uh, they're really small. And uh, they like to shoot the three, but I just don't think they're going to get there. It's 128 and a half, so I'm going to go under the total. Let's take a closer look at this game. Right now we got uh, Penn. They're averaging 68 points per game. UCF, they're averaging 71.5 points per game. That, that gets us well over the total. The issue, though, is UCF is allowing 55 points per game. They're ranked second in the country. And they go at a really slow pace. So I don't know if Penn's going to be able to keep up. It reminds me a little bit of that St. Mary's-Irvine game yesterday. and But somehow St. Mary's just, you know, totally scored a ton of points. UCF is not like that. Uh, Johnny Dawkins, by the way, he's done a great job with that squad. They're playing really well this year. Um, they're not as efficient as a team like St. Mary's. They're not going to be able to score, you know, at a really high clip. They've shown the ability to do it at times. But I don't think they're going to get there. And I think... Uh, uh, Penn, excuse me, I think they're going to sh- struggle to score points. I mean, look at UCF over the last several games. They've given up 58, uh, 62. That was to UMass, who's pretty decent. Uh, 45, 51. I mean, they're just not giving up a lot of points. College of Charleston, they allowed 40. I mean, they've been really solid. They're ranked number one in the country, allowing opponents to shoot just 30.5% from the from the floor. Now, Penn is more of a perimeter team. They're going to try and shoot the three. I just don't think they're going to be able to score enough to get over this 128 and a half. And UCF, offensively, you know, they're they're decently efficient. They are shooting 47.7% overall, uh, but that's mostly on a lot of two-point shooting at 54.5% where they get a lot of their buckets. Pace-wise, I this is not going to be fast. It's going to be really slow tempo. UCF is one of the slowest teams in the country, averaging 53.2 attempts per game. That really likes, ranks just about dead last. And uh, Penn also goes at a pretty slow slow clip. Um, I just I just don't see him getting there. I just I cannot see him getting the 128 and a half. So I think it's going to stay under, and that's going to be uh, my play with Penn and UCF. Uh, I, I have a lot of statistics here in front of me, but for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the ne- next game. You know. I mean, Central Florida has been solid, so solid defensively. I think Penn's going to struggle to score, and UCF goes too slow, I believe, to get us over this total. All right, next one up. Going to Madison Square Garden for a couple of matchups. we got first one is uh, Auburn and Boston College. Can Boston College win a game in the ACC? That's the big question. Now, this opened up at 149. It went down to 147. And I'm going to take over the 147 because Bruce Pearl, he, he really likes his team this year. He likes this Auburn team, and they're playing some really good basketball right now. They're they're going to be they're going to be a sleeper. Don't look out for Auburn this year in the SEC, and they could score, and they really go fast. I think Boston College is going to go fast with them now. Boston College, of course, they're not that good. They've shown a couple times this year the ability to score some points, but again, I think this comes back to Auburn. I mean, look at an Auburn overall. Overall, they're averaging 79 points per game, with Boston College averaging 70. Defense, not a lot going on there. you got Boston College allowing 70 points per game, Auburn allowing almost 73. The tempo is what gets me because right now Auburn, they are getting up 61 attempts per game. Not super, super fast, but they're also allowing 61 attempts per game, which is a pretty good rate. Boston College is not a bad shooting team, actually. They're shooting 44% from the floor. That ranks better than uh, half the teams in the country. And Auburn is not a really good shooting team, but they are shooting 51.4% on their two-point shots. And they go at a fast rate, unlike UCF uh, in the game I just described before where they shoot their two percentage at a pretty good clip. They just don't get up and down. Auburn does. Bruce Pearl is known for going fast. I think they're going to get up and down tonight. And at first glance, that number looks off, to be real, just to be blunt with you. I mean, it opened at 149. Odds makers, you know, sometimes set bad lines. But they're kind of they've had enough games now to where they have all the information and they're going to set lines a little bit more correctly, you know, and they're going to continue to do so 
as the season continues. So uh, it did drop to 147, but I think this is going to be fast. So I'm going to go ahead and back over the total of that uh, 147 between Boston College and Auburn. I think the shots are going to drop. Pace is going to be there. Best matchup of the day here. South Carolina and my favorite coach in the country, Frank Martin. He is my favorite coach in the country. I really like him. Uh, Seton Hall is playing some good basketball this year. South Carolina has been off the, off the hook. They've been awesome. Madison Square Garden. Oddsmakers have this right now, 135 and a half. Let me double check that. 135 and a half. And I'm going over. And, nor, and I'm, kinda, I'm more of a, an under sort of player. So that's a big call by me, <laughs> but I'm going over. I think they're going to get up and down. Seton Hall, this will be the best. Well, they and I changed that. Sorry. Uh, South Carolina did beat Michigan, and now they're facing Seton Hall. I think Seton Hall is better than Michigan. I'm going to go ahead and just say it. Yeah, they're pretty close. That'd be a good matchup. I like Seton Hall. That's a good team. I'm going to go ahead and take over the total 135 and a half. C- uh, South Carolina has been amazing defensively. They're allowing 55.5 points per game. They're ranked third in the country. Seton Hall, not bad either. 69.1. That's really good. That's some good defense. They could both score, though. Seton Hall is averaging 78 points per game, and South Carolina is averaging 74 points per game. Um, So defensively, they can get stops. But this is on a neutral floor. It's in Madison Square Garden. I really think they're going to go ahead and they're going to score. Let's look at some shooting percentages. This, this is what gets me to want to back over. There. I think they're going to get up and down the floor. This should be a fun game to watch. I'm going to watch it. It's going to be a good one. You got uh, South Carolina. They're shooting 46% from the, from the field. That is extremely good. And uh, Seton Hall, they're shooting almost 50%. They rank 16th in the country. This will be, you know, they faced Michigan, but that was at home. Now this is on a neutral floor against a Seton Hall team that can score. And I think they're going to go ahead and get up and down with them. Gosh, this is going to be a great matchup. But I think they get over that 135 and a half. They both can play some D. South Carolina has been great defensively, but, you know, they've, they've had a lot of home games. They've only had one game on a neutral floor in which they shut down uh, Syracuse, who's, who's okay this year. They're, they're not bad. Um, but they've had everything at home. So now they go to Madison Square Garden. I, I think Seton Hall is going to punch them in the mouth a little bit because this is a good Seton Hall team. they got some athletes. So, you know, eventually it's going to go down to the wire, But I, which also wants me to go ahead and back over the 135 and a half. I think it's going to get closer to 140. Both these teams are going to score tonight. Look for, uh, look for this game to get over the total. All right, let's go a uh, quick recap on those NCAA basketball games. We got Pennsylvania, UCF under the 128 and a half because I don't think Penn's going to be able to score and UCF goes at a very slow rate. Auburn, Boston College over the 147 and a half. This is more of a hunch play. The line went down, but I like Bruce Pearl to go ahead and push the tempo and Boston College to go ahead and get some buckets against an Auburn team who's subpar defensively. But don't sleep on them in the SEC. They're going to shock some teams. And finally, South Carolina uh, and Seton Hall over the 135 and a half, in which is going to be an excellent matchup. Those are our NCAA basketball picks on the totals. And I wish you guys luck on your picks today. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks. 